Hey guys, just showing you this broken fender on this uh, Electric Motion Escape 2022. I was just going to take a look at it and see if I could fix it. I'm not going to buy another one. They're like a hundred bucks. It's kind of ridiculous for a piece of plastic. But anyway, um, it's just one bolt. You guys probably already know this to take your seat off. The bolt's down under here. It's like a Allen bolt. And so your seat will slide right off. It's notched on this nub, much like most dirt bikes. So one, that's nice, one screw takes that off, and then three screws on the fender, one, two, three. Also Allen's, very simple. So fender's off, rear fender, and you can see mine fractured. I kind of barely dragged it on the dirt and it just split all the way up. It cracked from here. You can see the hairline crack kind of goes all the way up the fender towards the tail section. And I'm gonna try some capillary glue right now. I don't know if this, I actually think this is more like a polypropylene uh, plastic, I think, because it's got kind of that chewiness you can stick your fingernail into. Um, so I'm going to try the capillary glue. I don't think it goes with this stuff, so uh, we'll go from there. And then um, that doesn't work. I'm just going to, I'll find the right glue for this plastic, which, you know what, it could be. Well, I'll find out and I'll let you guys know shortly. Uh, the other thing is I might just reinforce it. I'm also looking at buying a Lexan sheet and just forming another fender. And I might just cut this one off here or, you know, in a diagonal or something and then put a Lexan fender on. Might even just attach it with um, literally like a Velcro or something so that I can just kind of snap it off as it as I fall and then just restick it back on. Because I have a feeling if I use the Lexan, it'll transfer the stress into this and, you know, maybe break that again. I want there to be a weak break point right here, you know, that kind of gives way and I can snap it back. Maybe I should put a hinge on it or something. <laughs> One of those uh, buckled uh, spring hinges that bends back and you can then just flop it back. Anyway, I'll let you know, I'll let you know what I decide to do, but 100 bucks for a piece of plastic this big is just not worth it to me. I'd rather just stick anything on the back end of it even though i know it's a nice pretty little bike but uh you got to be practical because uh you get another 100 hundred dollar fender and you might snap it the next day all right talk to you guys in a bit i'll let you know how i make out thanks okay guys my attempt to use the baking soda trick with super glue didn't work but this plastic fender is is, is polypropylene or polyethylene so you do need basic super glue does bond it back together i did an okay job um, just pouring the super glue down this hairline crack and then holding it together. I didn't do the perfect job getting the seams lined up. I guess I squeezed it not enough or too hard or something. Anyway, it's going to be strong enough. Um, I tried, like I said, the baking soda trick and it kind of sucked. So I went back to my original stuff I may have showed you before. I like this Cubon stuff. Now the Cubon comes with its own liquid, but I ran out of it. But the super glue seems to work just fine after you do that. So I'm using your basic super glue. And um, you can just put it, I already put the black powder on if you can see that. And you can just put this down and this stuff will absorb it. Oops, I put too much in there, but the black stuff absorbs it. Turns rock hard instantly. So you kind of make a nice little seam. If you have, you want to wipe your super glue tip. Otherwise you get that black powder in there and the thing turns solid on it. Um, but that probably is rock solid right now if you need to put more powder on you can do it after to absorb that super glue like you see a lot of wet super glue laying around it's kind of hard to get it on there perfectly but probably could use a little spatula or a tiny tooth or what do you call it tiny screwdriver yeah there it goes and then you can just move it around the extra powder with something plastic here or whatever. Where's my little plastic thing? Yeah, a little plastic business card. And I'm just spreading the powder through the... Uh, the powder actually got grabbed up pretty good. Not a lot of wet left. Yeah, so the... You can just kind of... If there's any loose powder, you can push it into the, uh, the wetness. And... It's not pretty, but it's the bottom of the fender. Who cares? And most likely I'm going to bust it off again in another day or 
another week or two. Well, I've had it a few months. Didn't break it till yesterday. So actually, that's probably solid enough for me. I'm just going to wipe off any excess super glue. Hopefully not get it on my fingers too much. Guess I could use a bigger paper towel. Uh, so that's it. Super glue on this fender will be fine. Like I said, I might come up with some other ideas of making a tougher fender down the road that can handle getting bent back. So I do have a crazy little bond there. Things strong again. I won't torque it yet. Super glue takes a little while to set up completely, but you can see the top side is not horrible. Um, so where's my paper towel here? Sometimes uh, you can use a little alcohol, rubbing alcohol, which I'm a big fan of, uh, just to wipe off any extra glue stuff. Let's see what we got here. That, yeah, that cleaned up okay there. So it's looking pretty good. I mean, it's cracked right along here, right through here. You can see my lip's not perfect, but who cares? So she's glued back together, and we'll go from there. Talk to you guys later. Hope that helps. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. Bye.